All right, let's go. On sale, gotta get it. Gotta get it. Gotta get it. All right. Might not be that bad of a start. I give this start a nice B. Not the best. Could definitely be worse, so I give it a nice B. Um, do we win? I think so because of the health potion. Mainly, and then we also got a uh, garlic as well, so and double DPS, so thank you. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go for spike shields here. For anything else. Because I value spike shields. <laughs> So much. So very much. Uh, garlic banana with the broom and torch. Interesting. We might be able to take this one. Possibly, but maybe not because out of Sama, they just crit too. Yeah, that crit was huge. Good game though. Now we have spike shields. We can go ahead and buy the banana as well. Uh, it's on sale, but I, I, I don't want it. Um, I'm passing everything here. Here we go. Well, I saw you actually. Let's see what I get. You know what I got? Trash. Okay. I wanted that banana. <laughs> I should have reserved that banana. God dang it. All right, do we win against this guy? I think so because of spikes, more than likely. Yep. Thank you. Another health potion. I'll take it. Roll. Oop. Ooh. Ooh. We just need to go mana thirst. I mean, it's in our face, like. That's what the world has come down to. Mana thirsting. We just need the mana thirst here. I'm not even gonna debate it, bro. We're just mana thirsting here. No debation at all. Not a single lick, not a word. None of it. None of it. Okay. None of it. Just a spear. Bunch of food, though. Bunch of food, though. Survivability's on point. We don't have that much food. Um, we do have two health potions, though. So that's good for us. It looks like this is probably going to come down to fatigue and whoever has the best survivability. First health potion used, second one used, and it looks like it's us because of our survivability. Buy you, buy you, sell you. Um, You can go there, and let's just go ahead and get that mana thirst ASAP. And hopefully I can just get me a blueberry next round, like this guy, which would be beautiful. He's got the goober. So survivability wise, he probably beats us until fake T kicks in where our health potions are going to be play right about now. First one being used, boom, second one being used, and then we more than likely win. Barely, but still. Now we got ourselves a mana thirst. I'm going to buy the banana, not buy that, and just fish for a blueberry here. And never get it. Because the game hates me. Right. 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 <laughs> buy that. Um. I mean, it still gains mana though, I guess. Which I suppose isn't like horrible per se. So there's that. It's not too bad, I guess. Okay. We just need a blueberry ASAP. And then our build is complete. Then the rest is just focusing on attack speed and survivability. And that's it. I think we lose this one, though. Because of the poison. More than likely. That's what it looks like. Yep. Almost had it, though. Good game. I'll buy it. So now I'm going to want it. It's okay. I don't care about the other health potion. We're probably going to lose this next round, but that's okay. That is perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. I do not mind losing this round for the sake of getting the blueberry versus. Wow, that is a lot. That is a lot of arrows, my friend. It's a dangerous amount of arrows. I kind of want to try a build like this. I think I am eventually dangerous amount of arrows, though. Um, but I, if I'm not mistaken, he wants a still goober. <laughs> I'm not mistaken. Good game, though. 
Boom. Get that magic torch. Should I go? Yes, I should. I'm not even going to debate it. Oh, there we go. Need that. I'm going to buy you. Um, How much do I get next round? 12? I'm going to buy this as well. For the sake of the future. For the sake of the future. Boom. We can turn used. Get another activation on that too. Um, I think that's good. I think that'll do for now. Versus this Falcon Blade, dude. I know. I know. I don't like him either. And that's why we're going to beat him. Unless he starts critting on us and then we're fucked. No. Five by five health. It's okay, though. We get him next round. Boom. We'll get him next time. It's okay. It's perfectly fine. We could just let him have that W. It's good. Next time, though. For sure, we take him down next time. Let's reserve you. Ooh, yeah. Uh, do I want you? I'm gonna need you. 12. I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna need you. I can't deny it. I'm gonna need you. Don't lose this one. Not against the fencing rapier. Please. Anything but the fencing rapier. Let's go. Let's go. Big W. Thank you. Let's go ahead and cop you and let's cop the fanny pack. Um, let's see if I can just turn everything this way. That works. That right, works perfectly fine. Yep. Perfectly fine. Now we just need more mana generation to actually activate that book of life, which would be good. Preferably mana orbs. Because right now we're one to one right now. But that's not going to be enough. I will buy this, though. That'll help us out with mana generation. Fanny pack for sure. Stamina potion, stamina potion, stamina potion. It's on sale. Let's get it. Another book of life. Never a bad idea to have. That's not getting activated, though, so I will move you over here. Now, actually do this for the activation. And then we'll turn that. You can go up here, get you a nice little combination situation going. Um, and then we'll do that. All right, that's good. That's good stuff. Versus, what is that? Okay. Whew, I thought it was a Bloodthorn for a second. It's going to get a little scared. Should take this one home, though. He's got Pandanomium. Combined with a Lightsaber, and he's also getting the Fortuna's Grace. What's stamina? Stamina usage is looking pretty damn bad, though. Um, So he should be running out of stamina, eventually. Hopefully. Big hopefully. Our stamina usage, on the other hand, is looking pretty damn good. Don't say so myself. However, once we increase the speed of our attacks, we'll have to worry about... That stamina use is a lot more. Can I win, please? Thank you. <laughs> Almost didn't win there. All right, there goes the potion. Let's get a book of life on the play. Um, I don't really need to put it on anything that activates, but I will put it to make it faster to help us out with our survivability. We can also sell the spike shield now because it's useless. There goes a blueberry. Very nice. That'll help us out with our generation of mana. And boom. All right. I don't think we'll have, we'll still, I don't think we're going to gain enough though to activate the book of life with just one blueberry. I mean, hopefully we can, but every three seconds, it's not a lot. It's not a lot. Plus, the, uh, these are going to... Well, this one also increases in attack speed, so... I'm glad this one generates some mana. That's really, really good. We might have enough to generate it enough. Potentially? There goes five. I mean, we're at half health right now, though, and they're still at full. Nah, it's not going to proc. We're going to lose this. Yeah. Damn. It's okay, though. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Let's get another bird and that. Let's roll again. Oh, we need that. We need that so bad. 
We need that bad. Sell the garlic. Get the mana orb. All right, let's make this work. Increasing the attack speed of the mana thirst would be good, I believe. Well, I could increase the attack speed of both of them, though. If I just move everything over by one. Theoretically, that should work. Oh, no, I have to put this there. This one will go here. And it doesn't increase the attack speed of both of them. Okay. That's fine. So that just goes there. This one goes here. Now I just need... Oh, that's perfect, actually. That's actually really good. I could just do that instead. The bird isn't affecting this other blueberry, though. But, I mean, we do have the mana orb, so does it really matter? Does it really matter? If it does, I'll just do that. <laughs> so now it's affecting both of them. The mana thirst is being affected by both of them. So our mana generation should be good enough to activate at least one of the Book of Lives. And it's... God damn! What's this? Five? Five potions. Really? You needed five strong skin potions, bro. This is a fatigue build. He's got the cursed doll, double fatigue, double uh, corrupted crystal. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I am seeing this right now. I've never seen a build like this. 200. Give me a spectral dagger here. You're fucking dead. Okay. I mean, there's a chance because we still stack in DPS. So there is a chance. I think we win. Okay, cool. Awesome. Because why? Why? I was so angry. Um, let's buy you. I'll also get the uh, vampiric armor. Um, yeah, we need this for sure. Yeah, we need that. Yeah, okay. Boom. Getting another gin would also be good. We can double down on the speed of this gin, I think, would probably be the best move for us. Um, because we want the gin to proc. Which is very possible because we get clovers from this. We get mana from our situation. We can get the armor from the dragon skin. As long as the dragon skin doesn't proc. Um, and the only thing we need is spikes. So getting a second gin would be really good for that spike situation. Because we should gain enough mana now. And the only thing it should generate will probably be mana once our book of lives activate or just straight up spikes. So yeah, is this another fatigue build? It looks like I didn't even look at it until now. It looks like another fatigue build. A little bit stronger one because he has the healing goober. Um, his potion's already proc though, so there's that, which is good. He's got a lot of uh, a lot of garlics, probably for a bloodthorn build for fatigue. Or bloodthorn build for um vampirism. But yeah, we would be able to proc now if the battle went a little bit longer. Good game though. Interesting. What should we get here? We got 16 gold, so we got options. I definitely want the box of riches to start getting some jewels. For um I, will, I need um vampirism jewels. So I want that. I don't know if I want to put it there. Put it right there. The question is, should I get another DJ lamp or another book of light? I'm gonna get eventually both. I say we should get another DJ lamp though. I think that's a little bit better. And then we can get another blueberry for the sake of getting blueberries. Which I can put here. And I can go there so that both of them are affecting the blueberry. All right. All right, this is looking good. Okay, versus the hammer, dammer, good blammer build. All right, all right, all right. All right, I'm gonna need my Book of Life to proc ASAP because the hammer build does a lot of damage at the beginning of the game. It doesn't really have any, um, come on, please proc. Please proc before I die. There we go. It doesn't have a lot of DP. It has a lot of DPS at the beginning of the game, but not a lot of DPS at the end of the game. But I don't think our mana generation is gonna be enough in order to survive this. Unless it is, and we just keep increasing in DPS until he dies. That was our last Book of Life, though. And it's not looking like it's close. Unless we can just crit. And he doesn't have any stamina. One more hit and he's dead. Yes, let's go. Fuck you, hammer build. Fuck you, hammer build. That's how you beat a hammer build right there. Hell yeah. And we got another book of life. 
So let's buy you. We can also buy the protective purse. We don't need any of that, and I can't roll anymore. Um, we did get a chip ruby though, so that's good. So where are we gonna put you? Probably um, well. Yeah, all the slots are filled unless I uh, just take it out of the blueberry like that. That'll work. Yeah, that'll work. I don't know if we proc there. I doubt we proc there. I, I, I want us to proc. We just have to like not be below 70% health at the beginning of the game. If we can manage that, then uh, it'll proc. We just got to get everything up, which we can, just, you know, healing, all that jazz will help. Invulnerability right about now will help. Looking good against what? Is it just a crossblades? Oh, he's got crossblades and a dragon. DPS on a dragon. Okay, cool. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. One more, one more, one more, one more thorns before you proc. One more thorns. There we go. All right. Now give me below 70% health and it should be able to proc. Um, Anytime now. There we go. And it just procced at the end. 45 damage. 45 damage not bad oh should i buy this um i don't know 35 percent chance to resist poison might not be too bad though if i'm going to get a poison build that kind of just destroys their poison build i don't generate poison so putting this in my backpack is dumb and an 80 percent chance to inflict two poison might not be too bad either and it's on sale so i might as well get it I might as well get it. I don't have any other jewels to use, so I'm going to get it. I could use this chip sapphire. I think I should put this in my armor slot. Five mana gain, gain two armor. Might not be too bad. And I'll get this to proc sooner. Um, so that'll be good. And the armor reduced damage taken could also be good. So let's get that. And then we'll just get the other gin next round and probably sell the box of riches as well. I thought this was another hammer build. I saw the daggers, um, but nah. looks like just a holy armor, double holy armor, lots of armor at the beginning of the game there. It's triple shields with double book of life and just a bloodthorn. I don't think his DPS is all that strong. Or maybe it is. I mean, only thing you need is this to get a bunch of regeneration, which he got a bunch of regeneration, turning that into vampirism for the bloodthorn, increasing its damage. Which is pretty insane, but we do have triple book of life, so there's that. Um, second one just procced. We're still dealing DPS to him. He's not touching us at all. We're ready to proc our Jin, and right about now, just procced. Now we're doing 97 DPS right now, or not not DPS, but damage. Oh, you didn't crit that? Come on. You could have crit that. That would have been a cool crit. Oh, now you want to give me a pumpkin that's on sale. Okay, game. A little late, but whatever. It's by you. And that's really about it. Well, I could sell this for the uh, the fanny pack if I wanted to. Um, I'll see why. Well, is there a spot? Probably the blueberries right there in that middle section. I can put you like right there. I just want both of the, um, I want both of the birds on it. It's like the main thing. It's like the main thing. And then I could just turn you sideways to put that right there. And I could just, I guess I'll put you there for just that 10% chance to resist, I suppose. I should have looked and seen how much um poison I put on him. That could have been interesting. I can even get me a flute. I mean, I could sell this for a flute. That can help just in case for the 12. Um, Let's do that. Let's sell you for a flute. And then we could just... Well, we can't put the flute there, actually. I can sell the banana now, though. I don't really need it anymore. And the flute can go... I can go there. That's a good spot. There we go. All right, cool. All right. This is looking like a damn good build versus a fatigue. Why is everyone rocking fatigue builds like they're good? They're not good anymore. Well, this one does have four corrupted crystals. And he did start with 400 armor. And he does have the vampiric armor as well, which is getting an increased. No, it's not. Okay, cool. I thought this was increasing it. That, um, never mind. I thought these gave a 30% chance. No, this one does. It does increase it. So this gives a 30% more armor. 
Okay, but we do have triple. We got triple book of lies. So that's a thing. And we're and we procked early. 42 damage, 42 to 44 damage on our uh, mana thirst right now. 91. Keep it. Keep. I want to see 100. Crit. There we go. 108. Huge damage. I'm telling you, guys, this build is the build, bro. Look at this. It's so simple. And we did two poison. He must have had something to cleanse poisons because there's no way. There's no way we only managed to put two poison on this man. There we go. Every three seconds, cleanse, cleanse two poison. But still, this is like the build, bro. This is the build right here. L maybe a little bit more stamina because we used our stamina potion there. But yeah, this is the build, bro. Didn't even touch me. All you need is a bunch of Book of Lights, Mana Generation, um, Magic Torch, Mana Thirst, and a little bit of Prockage from the Degen Lamp. You're straight. Double Birdie helped a lot too, for sure. Let's look at that log. 622 damage from the Mana Thirst. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And then he just did 100 damage from Fatigue. That was it. We didn't even reach Fatigue. Didn't even reach it. Threw down your armor, threw down your health, everything you had. And we still didn't reach Fatigue. Good game. Good game. Good game. 15 second game. We ended up doing... What was that big damage at the end there? Um, it was like 100 and something. Oh, there it is. 108. 108 critical damage. Good game. Hell yeah. Uh, oh yeah. All right. Cool. cool.